Hey, what's up guys? Before this video starts, I'm having some technical problem with my internet and I don't know if this video will upload today or if you're seeing this tomorrow. Sorry that it's late, but I doubt that I will be able to post the other two tonight. So just look out for that early in the day tomorrow guys and I hope you guys enjoy them. But if you're seeing this tonight, yeah, sorry about that, you're gonna get those tomorrow. But I hope you enjoy this one if you come through tonight. So yeah, let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King. And today I'm going to be giving you part 30. Of what if Naruto returned different after his training trip? Remember to get this one to 100 like as usual. Share this to all of your friends in your social media platform. And also go ahead and check out the brand new episode of what if Naruto was neglected by everyone. Go ahead and enjoy that guys. And over on Anime King 2, I post a brand new episode of what if Naruto was a god amongst man. So go ahead and check out that and enjoy. And I also post a new series. What if the Jobe was sealed inside of Naruto? So go ahead and check out that as well guys. And stay in tune for what if Naruto was a vampire over an anime king too. And I hope you guys enjoy each and every one of them. And remember if you're new and this is the first time hearing my voice and you enjoy the videos on both anime king and anime king too. Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become a part of the anime king family. And thank you for all of your help and support and yeah. Without further ado, let's begin this new episode. Start the intro. <laughs> so, the last part we left off, Snadi gave a speech to all of our warriors, as them, including the San and Kumo, who has their ninja disguised as San and Konoha ninjas, seeing that the Raikage didn't want, if they fail, for Naruto to come after him, even though the Genjutsu is broken, he know how strong Naruto is, and Naruto can destroy his village and kill him in any second. So, if they fail this, he wouldn't take any part in this war against Naruto, but if they win, he will help them crush Kiri and all of Naruto ally and supports. As the group headed off, they arrived at the stone village before Naruto and his group. As they told Oniki that this is a place that Naruto might attain, here is where they will draw the final battle as they brought all of their forces. As Naruto along with Neji and Mei and Yujito, all of them are going towards the stone village as Naruto told him he's going to go ahead as Neji told them to not do anything till they get there. As Naruto was about to fly out but Neji told him to promise. As Naruto said I promise. As Mei did not understand why did he make him say he promised. As Neji told me that Naruto cannot break a promise no matter what. It's a side effect of being immortal he cannot break a promise. So Naruto entered the place. When he got there he came into a house as he just flashed to the stone village. A man then attacked him one of the stone ninjas as Naruto just made him slip and fell on his own weapon, killing him in the process. So he didn't really start anything, he didn't break his promise. As Naruto went around the entire village hearing the plans and everything that they are going to do. Later the day Naruto transformed into Sasuke as he was walking around the village as he was then pulled into a house as it was Sakura there as she told him that she knew that he's stressed about the war but she will comfort him as she told him that it's her first time as Naruto disguised as Sasuke went for it since he didn't want to break his disguise as when he was finished he then headed off leaving Sakura behind as she had fallen asleep. The next morning his group arrived as Naruto heard that he slaughtered a stone ninja as everyone was shocked to see him as he walked forward as he told them that Naruto has arrived to the hidden stone as he transformed back into himself as everyone was shocked. So yeah guys that was basically last how he left off. You guys can choose your cosplays and check it out for yourself, so let's start this new episode. Everybody out, said Naruto. What? said Neji. Did I stutter? Your battle is out there, Naruto said, as he pointed at the two already fighting armies. But Naruto, you can't be serious, said me. Yeah, said Yujito. We want to fight with you. As Naruto raised his hand, as a small fireball was created, as he threw it towards the village. Boom! As one-fifth of the village was leveled. Oh crap, Mei said. 
Remember Moon Country? I'm gonna do the same, said Naruto. Neji eyes widen. Alright, we're leaving, he said. Just be careful, both me and Yujito said. As they headed off, with Naruto giving them a smile. Now, Naruto said. Who wants to give old Naruto a hug? How about you, Orochimaru? Enough fooling around, Naruto, Sasuke shouted. What did you do to our man in Moon Country? Huh? You mean you still don't know? Don't know what, Orochimaru asked. That I'm not playing for keepers anymore. What do you mean, said Sakura. As, Naruto didn't say anything. Naruto, she shouted. He then burst out in the laughter. Do you remember? You were on that mission too. Yes, I do, she said. You remember little Hikaru? And his father, the king? How about his mother, Naruto asked. What have you done to them, asked Sakura. Well, Hikaru looked a bit down. And being the nice person I was, I decided to cheer him up a bit. So I took his head and squashed it in my hand. Sakura eyes widened. No, no, why? How could you do this, she said. Oh, but that is not all, my dear. After I did that, his mother kept on screaming at me, so I blew her brains out. How low can you fall, Naruto? They were just unharmed civilians, said Sasuke. Oh, really? Tell me, Sasuke, how many unharmed civilians you would have killed if he could have helped you defeat me? As Sasuke narrowed his eyebrows, as Naruto chuckled, that's what I thought. At least try not to be a hypocrite. Quit it, Uzumaki, said Oniki. What have you done to my man? Oh, to your man? If I remember correctly, they're all alive and well. Where are they? Tell me now, said Onki. As Naruto chuckled, you mean you actually believe that? Come on, you know me better than that. Of course I killed them all. What? Onki shouted. Don't worry though, as a matter of fact, no one survived. And what is that supposed to mean? Asked Orochimaru. Oh, so you really don't know? I did not seize Moon Country. I wiped it off the world completely. This cannot be, Sakura muttered. Oh, you damn right it can, said Naruto. That is what I meant when I said I was not playing for keeps. I am simply going to destroy everything in my way and this village will go next. Not if I have something to say about it, said Onki. As Naruto found himself trapped in a cube of energy and flash, in a second, Naruto's body was disintegrated. Battle formation, A, Urjumar said. As all of them jumped away. Oh, so you actually made some plan, said Naruto, as he was reforming out of fire. Well then, I guess you guys are completely serious. Uzumaki Naruto, said a voice, as Naruto turned to see a girl. Um, who are you, he said. Die. With that she fired her, as Naruto didn't know what it was called, but it was long and black. Anyway, she fired it, as Naruto catched the object with his hand. You know, I don't really care who you are, but by shouting die at me, you only left me with one choice, what to do with this thing. I'm gonna take it and stick it right up your... As he tried to teleport, but he failed. Surprise, Orchmar said. You really didn't think that we came unprepared, right? Actually, I did. For everything that Konoha does, it is always screwed up. Not this time, said Sasuke. Fire style, fireball jutsu. As Naruto jumped away, strange. I teleported just recently, when could they? As Sakura jumped after him, forgive me Naruto, as she stretched her hand out to strike. Sure, Naruto said, as he delivered a kick to her chin, you still can't fight for crap. Naruto was then attacked by a dozen of ink birds. What the? Get them off, he said, as he tried to get them off in mid-air. Now, Sasuke! Shidori, said Sasuke, as he appeared right in front of Naruto. Not this time, Sasuke, Naruto said, as he catched Sasuke's wrist. As Sasuke grinned, Shidori Nagashi. Damn it, Naruto cursed in pain. Sasuke, jumped away, Orchimaru commanded. As Sasuke nodded and pushed himself off Naruto, who was being electrified. As Orchimaru shot his arm forwards, as several snakes came from his sleeve, as they grabbed Naruto and wrapped around him. Game over, Uzumaki. The unknown girl got in front of him as she brought up two guns. Bang. As she continued to fire, until both magazines were empty. Sakura, on it, she said, as Urchimaru releases binding jutsu, as Naruto started to fall right towards Sakura, as she punched Naruto's body with all of her might. Not yet, said Oniki, as he slammed Naruto in the ground with a huge rock, as Naruto landed with a huge crashing sound. This was easy, Oniki said, too easy, something's not right. 
You're right, Sasuke said. He didn't even try to defend himself. He was simply testing your strength. Keep your guard up. The battle has only begun, said Rebellion. Rebellion said to stay alert, Sasuke said. There is no way he would go down that easily. Why thank you, Sasuke, Naruto said. As everyone's eyes widened. Damn it, the nameless girl curse. I blew at least half of his head away. He's one tough bastard. You're damn right I am, whoever you are, Naruto said. As he stood up and brushed himself off. No, I must say, I'm disappointed. Is that all that you guys prepare for me after our last encounter? Well, that's just disappointing. Several physical attacks and a few jutsus? Is that all you got? Tch, Urchimar scowl. Plan B, Sasuke said. Plan B, Urchimar confirmed. Everyone, stand back. As Urchimar went through Hansai, Edo Tensei, he said. This again? Last time wasn't enough for you, said Naruto. As the casket opened, as Nurka eyes went wide. I have to hand it to you. You guys surprised me. Where am I? said a voice. Welcome to the living world. Sage of Six Path, said Naruto. Meanwhile, on the battlefield, Neji twisted his body just in time to avoid a deadly blade coming towards him. As he turned, Kakashi? You're here too, he said surprised. You shouldn't be surprised. You were an unfu captain after all, said Kakashi. Just great, Neji said. Can it get any worse? As they were greatly outnumbered. And then, summoning Jutsu. God damn it, Neji shouted as summons start to pop up everywhere. Neji, I will take these summons. You take care of the rest, said Yujito. But Yujito, Neji said. She turned her head as blue aura started to appear around her. You want to argue with me? She asked. Uh, no, Neji stuttered out. Good for you, she said as she jumped off. Damn it, we're getting overrun here, Naruto. Stop playing and do something, Neji said. Back with Naruto. You know, that was an interesting last message, Naruto said as he looked at the Sage of Six Path. What message is he talking about? Said Orochimaru. It's good to know at least someone agrees with me when I said everyone has darkness. As a sage smile, so you found it. Huh, then you are the one. I am glad to speak with you. Can I hear your name? Uzumaki Naruto at your service, Naruto said. But one question though, why hide the message in such a way? Because that was a requirement. What requirement, Naruto asked. Oh, so you don't know yet. Then I'm afraid I can't say anything else, said the sage. Our conversation is now over. Hmm, a shame. There are so many things I would like to ask. And I would like to answer, but I can't. You, the sage said, as he turned to Orochimaru. Finish your technique. Very well, said Orochimaru, as he placed a kunai inside the sage head. Get ready. What do you think about that, Yamato, said Naruto. I don't know what he was talking about, said Yamato. Just look out. As the sage jumped forward, Shinra Tensei, he said. Damn it, Naruto curse, flying away. Pain had nothing on this guy. He's not a legend for nothing. Look out, Yamato said. Damn it, Naruto curse. Banjo Tenin, he said. As the sage raised his hand and lowered it, burying Naruto under two buildings. Damn, he's throwing Naruto like a rag doll, Sasuke said, in awe. Don't get your hopes up, Sasuke, Sakura said. We know better than anyone that you cannot count Naruto out just by appearance. Boom! Naruto exploded out of the wreckage. Hyin, he said, as he sent purple flames towards the sage. Shinra Tensei, he said, as he blew away all of them. Five seconds, Naruto thought. Four, three, made it, he said. Shinra Tensei, said the sage. As Naruto flew backwards again. Damn it, what the hell? That was only three seconds. His powers shouldn't have recharged so quickly. But the sage was not talking as he blurred out of view. He appeared in front of Naruto and delivered a powerful kick right in Naruto's chest, knocking him in the ear. What's wrong with you? Get a grip, said Yamato. As Naruto came back down, screw you, he said, as he tried to punch the sage, but his hand went right through him. What the hell? That's a fake Madara's. As the sage kicked Naruto back in the ear and did a devastated combination, sending Naruto flying down into the ground a boom. Not bad, sage, Naruto said, as he got out of the crater, created by his fallen body. You fight like you're the big shot, like you're the Naruto, but I'm gonna show you, you're not. Watch out, here it comes, Urchimaru warned, as a surge of raw power erupted from Naruto's body as he unleashed his release form. Let's see you fear now, Naruto said, and with that he blurred out of view. Shinra Tensei, said the sage, but Naruto stood there as he didn't even move. Not so powerful now, huh, Naruto said, 
as he slammed his fist into the sage's face. Amaterasu, the sage said, as Naruto blurred out a view. Amaterasu, he said again. No chance in hell I'm getting caught by these damn flames again, Naruto said, as he brought his hands together. You, on the other hand. As Naruto slammed his hand on the ground, the sage eyes widened as he was bound by six light roads. Demon magic, he said. Naruto shrugged. I am a demon after all. Sayonaru, sage, he said. The next moment, the sage body was trapped inside of a black coffin. But Naruto felt something. As he cancelled the technique, there was no one inside the coffin. What the? Izanagi, the sage said from behind. The techniques of gods. And now, Shibaku Tensei. As Naruto struggled to remain on his feet as the ground started to shake. He's destroying my village, Oniki said. If he stop, we're all going to die, said Orochimaru. Damn it. Fine then, said Onki. Good man, said Orochimaru. Your body will be crushed by a massive amount of stones. The gravitation will destroy it completely. Farewell, Uzumaki Naruto. Yo, Naruto yelled as stones start to wrap around his body. You're good, Naruto said, as his body was covered by stone, completely gone from everyone's view. It's over, the sage said calmly, observing his work. The sage of six path power, Sasuke said in awe. I never imagined it could be that great. He is the founder of the shinobi world, said Orochimaru. Everything we know was created by him. In fact, even Naruto himself was able to achieve what he is today because of the sage. That's where you're wrong, said a voice, as everyone eyes widen, and then boom. A giant block, gomlet, broke out of the stone orb. Everything that I have accomplished, a enormous Naruto said as he break out of the stone orb. It was because of me and no one else. What power, said the sage. You are the one after all. Thanks, but as Naruto grabbed the sage of six path, it's time for you to return to your world. Shinra Tensei, the sage, said as he was struggling with his grip, as he tried to break loose, but he couldn't. You've been a worthy adversary, but you should know. You couldn't have beaten me, said Naruto. But consider this a sign of respect. As Naruto moved his right hand above the sage, soul drain. Green light engulfed the sage body, and soon enough his soul was shining inside Naruto's face. Farewell, old warrior, said Naruto, as he raised his hand as the soul flew straight up into the sky. He set it free. Why did he give up such power, Orochimaru said. No time to space around, Orochimaru, Sasuke shouted. Plan B failed. Damn, he's right. What should we? Uzumaki Oniki shouted as he was in mid-air with Naruto. As he was very small compared to Naruto, he was near his head though. I am. The third, Tishukage, and it is my duty to protect my village. And I shall, as he started to create a cube three times bigger. But then slap, Oniki cube was destroyed along with his body as Naruto slapped his hands together with Oniki in the center. As the body fell to the ground, Tishukage saw Masakura scream. All right, playtime is over, said Naruto, as he pulled out his large sword and stabbed it into the ground. On your knees, I want you to beg for forgiveness, Naruto said, as a massive hell gate appeared. What was that about, Yamato said? You don't give a crap if they forgive you or not. Don't ruin the moment. Besides, it sounds cool. I heard it somewhere. Damn it, the nameless girl curse. This is bad, very bad. Tell our army to fall back inside of the village. We can't do that, Orchimar stated. They will only be in the way. No, you don't get it. He's not alone anymore. As Orchimar jaw fell, as this looked like Judgment Day, as demons start to come from the Hell Gate, Sai sent a message to all of our commanders. I want them to retreat back to the village. You can't do that, Sasuke shouted. They will be caught in the way. You don't get it, said Orchimaru. They are needed as a distraction. Nicely said, Orochimaru Naruto said, as he shrank back down to his normal form, but he was still in his release form. What you have failed to realize is that I didn't give them any command to attack anyone. I told them not to attack people with Kumo or Kirihead Banahan, but otherwise from that, just then a group of flying demons attacked Orochimaru and his crew. Disperse, Orochimaru said as everyone jumped away, but not so fast, Sasuke, Naruto said. Appearing in front of Sasuke, I made a promise to myself that I would kill you. As Sasuke took a rebellion from his back, I can't afford to die, he said, as Naruto chuckled. 
Meanwhile, on the battlefield, Neji chuckled, not so tough without your Sharingan, huh, Kakashi? As Kakashi was on one knee, panting. Damn traitor, Kakashi said. Who, me? Please. Only Naruto had my loyalty, and I have come too far. I will never betray him. What did he say to you? What could he promise? Asked Kakashi. As Neji smiled sadly, is it really hard to believe that we're just two guys who want to make a difference? Believe it if you don't, but I'm gonna crush you now. Say goodnight, Kakashi. As he thrust his arm forward, creating a shock wave, but it hit San. Sorry I'm late, a familiar voice said. Kakashi sighed in relief. No, you're right on time, Gara. Oh, Gara, so you're here too, Neji said. No sending your sister this time. As Kazakage glared, another word about Temari and... And what? You're gonna kill me? Neji said in a mocking tone. Sorry to break it to you, pal, but we're going to try and kill each other anyway. As me, landing beside Neji, that right here piece of crap, brought more reinforcements and they have summoned with them. Neji eyes widened. Damn it, that means... As they heard screaming as a wounded, Yujito fly past them. Damn it, me said. Go check on her. I'll keep them busy. But go, she said, as Neji ran off to go and check. Hey, Yujito, you are right, Neji asked, kneeling in front of her. She coughed. Yeah, I'm fine. A little tired though. There is too much of them. Damn it, their advantage is too great. I'm going to find Naruto and give him a piece of my mind. There is no need for that, she said. Look there. As Neji turned his head, as his eyebrow rose. What the hell is that? As there was a huge enormous stone orb in the sky. Then boom. As a gigantic Naruto emerged from it. About damn time, Neji said. Meanwhile, with Naruto, the ear is nice here. I haven't breathed it in a while, said the dog. Shut up, Cerbos. We're not here to breathe in ear. We're here to kill, said Beowulf. You're so negative, said Naven. We're not here to kill. We're here to have fun. A human world. It's been a while. Do you always say that when you come here? Asked the dog. If you don't like it. Then screw you, said Beryl. As Nevin grinned evilly. Alright boys, let's rock, she said. Meanwhile, at Kumo, Hanabi was walking. Damn, this is boring, she said. As she was walking down the street. Naruto left. Neji left. Her eyes then went wide. What the? As she hid in the bushes. As she saw Kurnai walking down the street. Even with her head banned. What the hell is going on, she said. As she trailed Kurnai. Who let her in? People are seeing her head ban. Why isn't anyone doing anything? Wait a second. Why did she even come here in the first place? As she watched Kurnai walk into some dark alley. No is my chance, she said. As she ran on the roof and flicked over. As she landed in front of Kurnai. Huh? Hanabi? Kurnai said in surprise. As Hanabi took her battle stance. What are you doing here? Who let you in? Wait, you left without Naruto? Do you have any way of contacting him? Asked Kurnai. As Hanabi eyes narrowed. Why would I do that for you? You may not believe me, but there is a chance that Naruto might be in danger. What's that to you? asked Hanabi. Well, I want to join him, said Kurnai. And why should I believe you? You shouldn't. Only Naruto can prove my words. As Hanabi hesitated for a second, but she then dropped her stance. What did you say about danger? Look, they want to trap him here if he end up wounded. They know this is a place that he will come back to when he's done with the battle. Wait, who wants to trap Naruto? It's Raikage. What? It's true. He contacted the Hokage a few days ago in order to make an alliance. Hanabi gritted her teeth. He will pay, she said. No, don't do anything rush. You will only end up dead. Then what do you propose? Asked Hanabi. Let's hope that Naruto will be alright. But if not, it will be up to us to save his sorry butt, she said. Back with Naruto, Sasuke was sent as he fly right into a building side. As he didn't break through though, but he got back to his feet. I won't give up, he said, as he pointed rebellion at Naruto. As Naruto smirked, as Sasuke charged forward as he brought down his sword, but Naruto brought up his gauntlet and blocked the sword, and that left Naruto's right side wide open, as Sasuke did a spinning kick and drive it right in Naruto's side. But Naruto grabbed his leg and tossed him into a wall. Sasuke gasped out in pain as his back connected with the wall. Why? Why won't you fight seriously, he said. Naruto stared into space. Then he did something Sasuke never expected him to do. As he changed back into his human form. Why would I fight you seriously? 
A few minutes ago I killed the Tishukage and even defeat the Sage of Six Path. Who are you? You're nothing. You know, you always listen to people. Itachi told you to come after him. You did. Orochimaru told you to come for his power. You did. So now they told you to kill me. And here you are. Shut up, you know nothing Sasuke curse. No Sasuke, I know everything. I told you before, it was I who made you the man you are today. Hell, you're even carrying the sword I drop. And now you're fighting me. A man who just defeated the Sage of Six Path. You would never be on that kind of power level. As Sasuke Iron rose, as he noticed something, he was now in a battle zone. Streets were littered with demons and Konoha and the San and the Stone Shinobi is fighting as demons continue to come and come through the gate. But then Sasuke realized something. The demons won't stop. They will just keep on coming until we're too tired to fight back. Yes, I'm the only one who can close the hell gate. When you kill a demon, it will go back to hell. It will just keep on coming over and over and over again. What do you want Naruto? Sasuke asks. What I want Sasuke is to travel the darkness of the cosmos with this planet as my vessel. What? Sasuke said confused. Sorry Naruto said, that was from another show. My real point is, what's Konoha to you? Come, join me. Sasuke fist clenched, you must be crazy if you think I will even consider this. Why not? Naruto asks. You, you ruined my life. You kill Itachi, you destroy my clan and my mother. As Nurka snorted, oh yeah that, I kinda forgotten about it. So I guess your answer is a no. Alright then he said, as he pointed Yamato at Sasuke, then let's just kill each other. As Sasuke moved rebellion in front of him, let's finish this Naruto he said. Before this, tell me what you treasure the most in this world Sasuke. You don't understand Sasuke said, there is nothing more left for me here. Is that so said Naruto, as Yamato vanished. He then took out Trish's gun. As Sasuke noticed it, it was that girl's gun, the demon girl. As Naruto pointed to the side. As Sasuke was confused, why was he pointing this at him? Where is he aiming? Wait, what's precious to me? As his eyes went wide. Which Sakura? Damn demons, they just keep on coming. She said smashing another demon with a super punch. Suddenly, Sakura, look out! She quickly turned around only to come face to face with Sasuke. Bang! The last words died in her throat as she felt something splattered over her face. As she was shaken, bang again. As Sasuke fell to the ground this time, as Sakura caught him and placed him down gently. Sasuke, she said as he tear his clothes and activated her best healing technique. So, Sakura, I'm here. Don't speak, she said. Everything is going to be alright, she said. Oh, I really doubt that, said Naruto. As Sakura ignored him. Oh, ignored me because of him. Now that is familiar. As she couldn't focus on Naruto right now, she wanted to heal Sasuke, but he could kill her at any moment. Then so be it, she will heal Sasuke no matter what. Here, let me help. As Sakura felt a hand on her shoulder, as the hand picked her up and threw her away. Look at you now, the last Uchiha. You know, it always amused me. Who you was once called a genius. You're nothing but a failure, giving me a free shot like that. You're nothing like Itachi after all. Sasuke! As Sakura ran to his side yet again and resumed her technique. Stay with me, she said. Naruto raised the eyebrow at that. I admire your guts. You turn your back on me. I could kill you anytime. Then do it, I don't care. Go ahead. What's stopping you? Kill me, she said. Nah, Naruto said. As he pointed his gun at Sasuke. Bang. Stop it, please, Sakura said. Bang. Please, she started to cry. Bang, bang, bang. As Sakura turned her gaze towards Naruto. As his gun was now pointed at Sasuke's head. See you in the next life. Bang. Finally. I can't believe it. After all these years, the last Uchiha has finally died at my hand, Naruto said, laughing. No, no, Sakura cried in Sasuke, on moving chest. Oh, what a familiar picture. It was years ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. You remember Wave? He asked. Sakura looked at him with her watery eyes. I know you remember it. That time Sasuke came back from the dead. I wonder if he will do it again. 
What Aku did to him, he stabbed some Senban into his neck, and I, as Naruto saw a giant hole in Sasuke's head instead of his left eye. Oh dear, I guess it will be harder to return from that. Come on Sakura, we're his teammates, we should help him, and with that he kicked her right in the face, sending her flying back, as she gasped out in pain as she skidded across the ground. Don't worry, I will be with you shortly, he said, as he turned towards Sasuke's dead body. Come on Sasuke, wake up, you have a hole in your skull, he said as he chuckled slightly. You know, I take it back, I like you dead much better. We had so little time together though. Together? As Naruto was talking for Sasuke, you mean like yesterday? How did you know, Naruto said. Let me make you forget all your worries, Naruto said, in Sakura's voice. How did you know that, Sakura asked. Were you spying on us? You could say that, but I really hate it when you call me Sasuke. As Sakura gasped. I mean, it was kind of humiliating. I was trying my best, and you kept on screaming Sasuke, Sasuke. And it almost took the entire mood away. You know what, just to be sure, as he turned his gun, bang, as Sasuke's right eye was now gone, replaced with a giant hole, and now every damn Sharingan is out of this world, he said. Sakura slowly got up on her knees, you, you, you monster, she screamed. I never believed it, I never wanted to, but they're right, you're beyond redemption, Naruto. Beyond redemption? as Naruto blurred in front of her and backhanded her right across the face. You still don't get it, you stupid bitch. I don't believe in redemption. And even if I did, there is no need in it for me. I am right in everything I do. I don't believe I'm wrong. The whole world says you're wrong, said Sakura. Well, screw the world. And if it keep on disagreeing with me, I will destroy it. And from the remains, I will create a new world. It doesn't matter how strong you are, you will never be enough to stand against the entire world, she said. The day will come when you will make a mistake and no one will be there to back you up. That day you will fail and all of your sick twisted dreams will fail along with you. Do you know why? As Naruto tilted his head. Because everyone has darkness, she said. Only that time you won't expect it. As Naruto was taken back by that. I never expected something like that to come from your mouth, and I must say, you're completely right. Maybe someday I will fail, maybe someday I will be taken down. But until that happened, as he aimed his gun towards her, tell Sasuke to go and screw himself. As he started to pull the trigger down, but Naruto, as Naruto glanced over his shoulder, as he saw a black haired girl in white robe, who in the hell are you? You really don't remember me? After all these years? Who are you? Nerta asked, as she chuckled. You still don't remember me, huh? I guess I'll just have to refresh your memory then. You have failed me, Naruto, she said. What are you ta- But Naruto was cut off, as a memory came to his mind. Flashback. A four-year-old Naruto turned around. Oh hey, Misako. There you are, the girl said, stopping right in front of him. Today's your birthday, right? As Naruto nodded his head. Then here, she said. As she gave him a skull like necklace, this for you, for, for me, he said, of course silly, happy birthday, she said, as she took it and placed it around his neck, as tears appeared in her the eyes, thank you, thank you, he said, as he hugged her, and she hugged him back, end of the flashback, no, 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 for the first time in a long time, her face was grace with true horror, oh crap, Yamato said, no, 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 Naruto started to scream as thunder crashed. As Naruto screamed in pain, as a enormous thunder struck his body, as Sakura was thrown back by the force of the impact. Got you, a voice said, as Sakura was caught. Who are you? My name is Credo, and I am the Order of the Sword. The Order of the Sword? Sakura said, confused. Yes, we hunt down and eliminate demons like Uzumaki Naruto. But why only now? Why did you wait all this time? Because we needed the right moment to strike, the girl from before said, landed right beside him. He is too powerful to take down without proper preparations. As Trido turned towards her, everything went as planned. Can't you see for yourself, the girl said, as Naruto's body was engulfed in lightning. Do you think it's gonna be enough? This will. Only our savior 
has the power to destroy Uzumaki Naruto for good. Your savior? said Sakura confused. Look there. As Sakura looked up as her eyes widened. Meanwhile, Yujito's eyes widened. What the hell is that? No, Naruto, she said as she rushed over there. As Urchimar and his team, eyes widened as well. What is that? As Urchimar striked another demon, but he was then surrounded as he was looking up. But suddenly, a flying armor knight striked down all of the demons. Am I seeing things? Urchimar said. No, I see too, said the nameless girl. He's not alone, Sai said, as he pointed up to see hundreds of knights killing demons. Meanwhile, with Sakura, what the hell is that? She said. But guys, we end this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this or know what to do, like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn that the locations they posted. Remember to share all of your friends in your social media platform. But I'm over now. Peace.